Hi, how you doing? Uh, Justin here. Uh, in this lesson we're going to check out classical harmonics. Now this is a technique where you create a harmonic by using your first finger to touch 12 frets above the note that you're going to play. So in this example to start off with I'm going to use a G chord, like a big G bar chord, E shape, E grip bar chord. Now uh, the, the concept here, hopefully you've checked out the natural harmonics and that you, you know that you can create a harmonic by having a node or a point where the string doesn't vibrate 12 frets above the original note. So in this case we've got our G chord here at the third fret. So for this very first note here, which is the third fret, we think 12 frets higher than that, which will give us the 15th fret. Now, I'm going to do a little close up on this hand for a, in a sec. But if we just lightly touch at the 15th fret here with our first finger and I'm plucking it behind with my thumb, you find that you get a harmonic. So there's the natural note down there and it now makes it one octave higher by touching it and just plucking it from behind. Now if I follow this chord shape, I'll be plucking the 15th fret. Then this note here, which is on the 5th fret, will be the 17th fret here and then the 17th fret again, then the 16th, 15th, and 15th. So you get this nice effect. This is a kind of a classical technique. They do it several different ways. Firstly with their first finger and plucking behind from the thumb, and sometimes also playing with your first finger and plucking it from behind with your third finger. Okay, let's do a close-up of the right hand, please Jedi Master. Okay, so we've got our G chord down at the third fret, our G bar chord, and the, right here's the 15th fret. So your first finger is going to touch very, very lightly on that string, not pressing it down, just really touching it lightly. And the thumb, you can see from behind, is going to make a motion like that to pluck the string. And you can hear there, there's the harmonic. Now the next note was the 17th fret, same thing. 17th fret, 16, 15, 15. Okay, so once you've got the technique down with your right hand, it's really important to start experimenting with lots of different chords and getting used to the idea of seeing 12 frets higher than where you're playing. A good start can be once you've got the technique down to use maybe some of your open chords. So if you were to pick, say, an open E chord, you'd be able to remember that it would be so 12, 14, 14, 13, 12, 12 for an E. Try a C chord where you'd have 15, 14, 12, 13, 14 to G. experiment a little bit with being able to see straight away that 12 frets ahead. It's a really, really useful technique, works for all of the other things, the tap harmonics, harp harmonics and all of the other different harmonic techniques that you might want to come with, that you might want to try out, all are based around 12 frets higher than the note that you're playing. Well, I hope you have a bit of fun with classical harmonics. See you again. Bye.